Hi, Long Range Hunting. Welcome to episode four of Terminal Ballistics Testing. I said in the last video the ELD match again and this is a 168 grain ELD match um, in the first video we were doing a 200 yard comparison between that and the Barnes triple shocks now I recently was back out there and was able with reduced loads to get down to a much lower impact velocity which part of this is to simply show the range of these bullets and why certain ones work and certain ones don't and every bullet has a minimum impact velocity that's required for reliable expansion now the eld match are phenomenal they'll expand down to 1300 feet per second reliably um you know some on the softer animals it's going to be 1400 feet per second as far as if you're looking at like coyote stuff like that that are very low impact resistance they have very thin hides not a lot of meat and the depth of penetration isn't much so you're gonna need a little bit higher on those um, but if you're looking at elk mule deer stuff like that you can go down to 1300 feet per second and you're going to get good performance now now i'm going to show you the original now the impact velocity of that was 2322 feet per second uh, nice good temporary wound cavity uh, a good permanent wound cavity and then and then we're also going to cover the new one which was 1370 feet per second impact velocity now let's real quick look at the first one <laughs> Now we've already seen that again, just re-showing you to show what that performance is. Excellent terminal performance, worked like a charm. That is definitely a fatal shot. It just I hit like a tank. Now let's get on and look at that lower impact velocity shot of 1,370 feet per second. Now, as you can see, that's got a decent temporary wound cavity and it's got a good, especially for that velocity, permanent wound cavity. Now, the widest point of that permanent wound cavity, we measured at two inches. Now, something to show for that is I'm gonna compare it back to the Barnes. So that Barnes with an impact velocity of 2,300 and three feet per second. The ELD match, if you look, their temporary wound cavity is very similar in size. So you're achieving around the same temporary wound cavity, that hydrostatic shock. Now, if you look at the permanent wound cavity, you actually have a better permanent wound cavity with the ELD match at 1,370 feet per second than you do with the Barnes triple shock at 2,303 feet per second. So 
So bullets, again, people don't really get it. They don't get to see those temporary wound cavities. They'll just, you know, a lot of guys just try to get the guts out as fast as possible or they do the gutless method. Um, you know, they just see a bullet mushroom and they're like, oh, that's great. Um, or they see part of the permanent wound cavity and the animal dies. Well, with right shot placement, it's going to die. I mean, you can kill with a bow, old school bows, even with homemade arrows, you can still kill. So it's one of those things people mistake the fact that they got shot placement, right? And it was enough to cause that animal to die as good performance. Now that's not always necessarily true. And this is going to show that, you know, certain bullets are going to outperform. And in this case, the ELD match through the entire range of that bullet's capabilities. Now, I don't go below 1340. I've talked about this before. It has nothing to do with that 1300 feet per second. It won't expand. It's simply at 1340, you're hitting transonic flight. I don't want to mess with it. And again, for most of these long range rigs for hunting, nobody's getting close. So the minimum impact velocities of these bullets, you're, most guys aren't even going close. Some of these guys with their rigs, it's a mile to over 2,000 yards before they get to that point. So they're going to be on the higher end of what these bullets are doing. But that is a completely fatal shot on that, you know, lower impact velocity. That's great performance. Now, the lowest I've killed so far is just over 1,500 feet per second. And that was at 715 yards on a mule deer. And it dropped dead on the spot. So it's one of those things that not only have we seen this in the field and have just endless documentation of it, we have pictures, we have videos, we have all kinds of stuff, but now these controlled tests are showing us the exact same thing. So, you know, don't get too bothered by the fact that, you know, one is labeled for hunting and one isn't. Um, the ELD match is going to have a broader spectrum. You know, the burger hybrids, the A-tips are going to have a broader spectrum of not only better accuracy, but better performance. <clears throat> you know, that Barnes has a much higher, lower impact velocity. And quite honestly, I just, I wasn't that impressed with it. Um, we've got some more to test. There's been a lot of bullets coming in. I've got some of the tipped uh, triple shocks that we're going to be testing out. Um, all kinds of new stuff. We got some fragmentation solids that, uh, Aaron sent to me. So it's one of those things. Uh, keep track of how these are going. And once this is done, you'll have a database of quality tests and controlled environments and then hunting that you can look at all of it and piece it together and see what bullet is right for you, what the limitations of that bullet are and what the ideal performance is. And as we move on, I'm going to be changing animals and, you know, vital depths, hide everything. And so you can really see what's actually happening. And that way, when you go in the field, you are that much more lethal because you know exactly what you can accomplish at what distances with impact velocities, bullet performance, etc. So everybody, you know, stay safe out there. Happy hunting. I hope you enjoyed.